Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another unboxing here. Bit of a rattly one today. Um, <clears throat> this is something from a brand that I've never had anything from before. Or to be honest, they've never even been on my radar. And the brand is Off-White. Um, probably something more suited to my son and daughter who are 15 and 12 um i've just turned 37 so am i too old for this probably but never mind um i didn't buy this because of the brand i bought it because i really liked the bag um and really liked the color and it was a really good deal so i thought why not try it see what it's like and if i don't like it i can always send it back um I bought this bag from a website called, I'm going to absolutely butcher this because it's French, uh, Monnier Frères, I think I will link it, um, link it, I will put the words below so you can see what I'm trying to say, but I think it's Monnier Frères, um, and they are a website that sells loads of different brands and then they have um, well at the moment they've got a summer sale on um, I was actually on there looking for something completely different I had seen a Tory Burch um, like bag charm um, like a, a again it was in the sale but it's like a little fox uh, bag charm with like sequins on and it just caught my eye um, I think in one of my emails uh, and I was looking to see where I could get it from and th this website popped up. While I was on there, I was looking at the other items that was in sale and I saw these bags and I was like, hmm, very pretty. And I thought I'd give it a go. Like I say, it's never been on my radar before. It's kind of a brand similar in my eyes to like Supreme, that kind of, you know, younger streetwear kind of brand. Um, very unisex uh in fact i didn't even know they did bags like this um so it really was a, a case of i saw a bag thought it was really nice looking bag didn't really matter what brand it was just happened to be off-white and i bought it so i won't ramble on anymore uh but it, the postage was really quick with this i think it was two or three days um and i think it came from oh it was from france because it was um france's um equivalent of dhl which is chrono post um so that was where it came from uh so i shall get opening this now i've not looked at this yet so this will be the first time i'm seeing it with you guys and i did look for videos on this bag on YouTube to kind of give myself an idea of what it would look like and if it would work for me and there were a few on here but really not that many and I didn't see a single one in this colour that I've chosen so um, <clears throat> let's have a look so it comes with the Monnier Frères uh, tissue paper there Uh, this came with it just a little thank you note with the returns label there if you do want to return anything you can do that and it's free of charge within the 14 days and then here we have the bag So this is the bag I have chosen, you really can't tell what it is there. Uh, the dust bag in typical off-white um, fashion, uh, just says plastic bag on the front there. So it's like, like a swim bag. Um, so I'm sure many of you know about off-white but most of their stuff has very... Um, 
simple uh, statements of what each item is um, on their stuff. Um, so obviously this one says plastic bag, but it's um, it's unusual to have a dust bag that's plastic. Uh, comes with the little uh, plastic drawstrings as well. So very unusual. And the bag I've chosen is called the binder clip bag. Um, it's actually on the website on Monier Frères as the off-white uh, flap bag, uh, just flap bag. Um, but on the off-white website, it's called the binder bag. Um, and I shall show you why. I chose the bag in this gorgeous fuchsia colour. This is what really grabbed my attention. I don't know if you remember a quite a few videos back, I think it was last year, I had a bag from Aspinall's, um, which was the, it was Orchid Saffiano uh, Portobello bag. Um, it was a very small kind of round saddle bag type thing. Um, I actually sold that and that was a very similar colour to this, um, but I had a bit of a bad experience with that whole um, transaction. Uh, so it kind of left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth and then I didn't want to use the bag so I sold it on. So this is a nice replacement for that because I was lacking a pink bag and I wear this colour all the time. So it is nice to have one back in my collection like this. And this bag, like I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this but the colour is beautiful and one thing I really like about this is it is a similar size to like my um, Saint Laurent uh, Lou camera bag and sort of like a Gucci disco Soho bag that kind of camera bag style but this one comes with two different straps you have this one here which is a shoulder strap which has uh, these cutouts uh, in the leather there uh, this is like the off-white kind of branding they they have a lot of their um, designs have this diagonal um, design on uh, so that is one strap that it comes with and then inside I'll show you that so this is um, just a plain flap bag like that and then in here, I have some labels, um, again, with the simple kind of names on them. It says hang tag on there. And again, with the diagonal kind of design there. Does this have the original price on? No, but it has the name. Uh, this says plain flap bag, fuchsia, off-white. Um, that's what it says on the tag and then um, the care garment care is there as well inside is the other strap which is a crossbody strap and this has the off-white logo print on um, says off white um, 5.400 pounds weight securing system. I'm not sure if I'm reading that entirely correctly, but it's kind of made to look like either like a luggage um, belt or like a seat belt. And this is actually the same material as the off white belts are like regular belts um so this comes it's slightly adjustable um it has like the poppers there that you can adjust there but on the side of the bag there is space for both the straps here there is um one set of d-rings here and then one slightly higher up so you can pick and choose where you put your straps or if you want to wear one or both of them. Uh, but I thought that was really cool that you had the option of wearing either of the straps. 
uh, just inside there that says off-white made in Italy just there then we have this string of leather and then inside this little bag is the binder clip which the bag is actually named after so this binder clip is the magnetic closure for the flap of the bag so this actually goes on the front of the bag I can figure out how to do it um, right so you have the flap there then you get this open it up push it on and that is the closure flap these back up I'm sure this will get in the way so whether I will keep that on there but I suppose it's just attached so you don't lose it but you can tuck that inside but I just thought this was so unusual to have something that you really wouldn't associate with a bag as a closure I just it just makes it that little bit more interesting to look at I really like the dimensions of this bag as well because although it's quite a small bag it's really deep and inside I take this stuff out there's quite a nice you know amount of room in there for all your bits and bobs uh, there is also a zip pocket there and it has on, let me see if I can do it less awkwardly it has a kind of ring zipper there and in the front of the bag there is like a little slip pocket as well again with the kind of uh, simple name taggy uh, like I don't even know what I'm trying to say but the simple names on on different things that says main label just there uh, it says off-white CO Virgil Abloh is that how you say his name um, Defining the grey area between black and white as the colour off-white. Um, and there are some labels there. Probably cut them out because I think that will annoy me. And on the side here with the D-rings, there's kind of like a, what do you call this? That was on the off chance that that would actually have the word on it and it does it says hex nut <laughs> on there i was thought yeah nuts and bolts so yeah it's like um the nut of a nut and bolt how unusual and then on the back here uh this is actually metal um, and it says off-white in kind of like a pewter. I'd say the um, hardware on this is like a gunmetal pewtery kind of colour. But I'm going to attach the straps and we'll see what it looks like all put together properly. Right, so I've put the straps on the bag. I'm not sure if this is how I'm going to keep them on because I'm not sure if this will be the most efficient way to wear them but as I said this comes with this shorter uh, shoulder strap and you can choose where you put it so I mean it came on the top one well it was already attached on one side so I just attached the other side um, and then I've attached the um, crossbody longer strap onto the bottom rings now I'm not sure if that's going to work out as well because I think if I use the longer strap here no, it kind of leaves this strap dangling not very nicely 
Um, so I think what I might do is take this strap off, put it on the lower um, D-rings and then put this crossbody strap uh, on the higher ones because then this strap can actually hang underneath the bag like that. I just think it'll look a little neater. Um, and to do that, all you do is you pull the pull the end of the strap out of the loop. I can do it, push it down that. So like that, unpop it, and then that just comes off like that. And the same with the shorter strap. That's actually a little bit easier to get on and off because you can lift these loops right up on this one and then just try and do this without punching myself in the face. Pop that off there. And there. And then I will attach that to the bottom. And obviously you don't actually have to keep both of the straps on at the same time. Um... You could just use the one that you wanted to use at the time and then you could choose which set of loops you put it in. Um, whichever one we wanted to. So I've put that on the bottom set which means that it can actually hang underneath the bag like that. And then I put this one on the top. So there we are, that is with the straps the other way around. Um, so then you can use the long strap um, over your shoulder or crossbody. Sits reasonably well. Um, and then you could still use this little strap and then it's a little bit uh, neater, I think. Yeah, that looks better. So just as a size comparison, um, I got my Saint Laurent Lou camera bag out. And as you can see, the off-white bag is slightly smaller. It's about an inch uh, shorter, but it's actually quite a bit thicker. So what you lose in length, you gain in depth. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like a tiny bag. Um, also, also, there is a size comparison with my Chanel Wok. Um, these are the smallest bags that I own, so even though there's quite a big size difference, I still thought it might be useful for a comparison but yeah I'm really pleased with this bag um now this bag originally was 730 pound but in the Monnier Frere uh, summer sale it's actually got 50% off so I ended up paying 365 pound for this and there was free shipping as well um and they've also got it in like a really beautiful like royal blue colour. Um, and this is the bigger one. Um, they sell a mini bag um, in the same kind of style. Which is just a little bit shorter and more narrow I think. Um, and they also have like a... It's a belt bag. But the belt bag can actually be worn as a shoulder bag as well. And like a crossbody. Um again it comes with the um, multiple straps so, so you can wear them multiple ways which is always handy um, it also comes in um, they call it the diag like diagonal uh, design so you know this diagonal design here they actually have it with stripes uh, going across the bag which I very very nearly bought um, in the future with the white stripes uh, but I actually thought that this one was going to be a little bit more versatile um, and easier to match up with my wardrobe. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I, um, 
hope my son doesn't ridicule me for having an off-white bag now but the bag is made from calfskin saffiano leather the measurements for this bag are 16 centimeters in height 19 centimeters across and nine centimeters in depth there so it's a pretty good size for a small bag yeah and I, there's not really much else i can tell you about this bag um it's a simple bag the lining inside i don't even know if i already said this but it's like a textile lining um like a black cotton lining um but say all the edges are trimmed with leather so yeah i'm really pleased with it i'm glad i went for this color um as well and not the one with the white stripes although i like that one a lot i do think that this one's going to be a more sensible option for me and i just think the price point was really really good i mean this bag was 850 pound this bag I paid 365 like, and you're getting pretty much the same amount of bag and this one actually has two straps whereas this only has one so just goes to show that if you look out for bargains they are there to be found but I hope you like that if you have any questions about the bag just uh, leave a comment and I'll try and help if I can um, I'll also leave the link to where I got this bag um, with the discount and if for any reason that that link doesn't work or this video gets a bit old and you can't find it um, just search for off-white binder bag um, and you should be able to find some in because there's loads of different colours and a few different designs as well so you might find one that's kind of more your cup of tea than this one but um, yeah I hope you like it Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.